Hey, what's up guys? Good morning and welcome back to the channel. Now, I hope you guys have been enjoying the brand new Chimera Jailbreak. For me, it's been absolutely incredible. Now, the biggest problem I've ran into is honestly Cilio. It is pretty fantastic and I honestly want to do a separate video about it, but in its current state, it's still in beta and there are quite a few bugs. So, that being the case, in today's video, I wanted to share with everyone how you guys can install Cydia on the Chimera Jailbreak. Now, as you guys might have noticed, I have both Cydia as well as Cilio. All of this is running perfectly fine on the Chimera Jailbreak on my iPhone XS Max, which of course is an A12 device. So if you guys want to get a little bit nostalgic and install the OG Cydia onto this jailbreak, this is exactly how to do it. Now, if you guys prefer a written tutorial, definitely check out our Best Tech Info article regarding this tutorial process. It's really not that hard, and again, if you guys want it in written form just to breeze through this a little bit quicker than in this video, definitely check that out. But if you guys want a hands-on walkthrough video tutorial, definitely stick around for the rest of this video. Before we start, definitely like, comment, and subscribe to stay updated with the latest updates pertaining to the Chimera Jailbreak, as well as Apple-related events. Now, I just wanted to clarify one thing, the Chimera Jailbreak has been absolutely incredible for me. It's super quick, there isn't too much battery drain, the success rate for re-enabling and jailbreaking for the very first time is spot on. And furthermore, the success rate for re-enabling my jailbreak or jailbreaking for the very first time is practically 100%. It works every single time. Now, let's talk a little bit about Cilio. Now, there are a couple things going on here. One, there's the actual package installer and some of the bugs pertaining to that. And two, just a lot of the tweaks have yet to be updated to include A12 support. Pretty much every tweak out there has to be updated so it appears correctly within the settings app. The preference bundle file has to be modified for A12 devices, and that's just going to take some time. Now, Cydia, in contrast, is not going to fix the tweak issue. That is a separate A12 related issue. But what this does add is it adds full Cydia support. And the cool thing about having both of these on your device is you can have a separate source or repositories list between Cydia and Cilio. And again, you can completely install and uninstall packages on both now, both Cydia and Cilio. So my biggest issue when I'm installing packages on Cilio is if it runs into any errors, pretty much the application just crashes or freezes to some extent. In contrast, Cydia definitely does run into errors still, but I can easily just return to the home page and retry or install a different package, basically. Cydia, in general, is just a little bit more stable when installing packages. It's still, in my opinion, just a little bit faster, but in any case, here's the tutorial, guys, of how to get Cydia on your guys' devices. So to show you guys how to do this process entirely from scratch, I'm actually going to use this program right here called Snapback. We did an entire separate video on this before, and it recently has been updated to support the Chimera Jailbreak. And this basically lets you restore back to stock iOS, and then easily restore back to another Jailbreak setup. As you guys can see, my current one, I have a lot of tweaks installed. I'm working on a top tweaks video, so definitely stay tuned for that. Anyway, for this video, I'm gonna go ahead and restore it back to stock iOS, the ORG FS, jump to the snapshot, and show you guys how to install Cydia from scratch. So, here we go. All right, so here we are back on stock iOS. Here is how to install Cydia entirely from scratch. So, you're going to jailbreak just like normal, just jailbreak with the Chimera Jailbreak. Again, if you guys want a longer tutorial about this, definitely check out one of our latest videos as well. So, once we're jailbroken, we can go ahead and go into Cilio. We can go to Sources, click this little plus icon right here, and you guys are going to add these two sources to Cilio. And I'll explain why here in just a second. So, go ahead and click Add Sources. Again, these are located down below in the Best Tech Info article. And then we can pull down to refresh all of our sources. So, now we can go to Packages, and we're going to click on this little hamburger menu right here and switch to Developer. And now we're going to search for Preference Loader. 
that one right there. We're gonna go ahead and select it, click Git, and go to Q, and it's going to update all of these packages right here. And we're gonna go ahead and update Cilio Beta as well. While we're at it, go ahead and click Upgrade. So those are the typical updates you need to apply right after jailbreaking. Now on to installing Cydia. So we're gonna go into this repo right here, which I told you guys to add, and then we're going to select Cydia Universal and click Git. And we're gonna go to Packages right here, and here are all of the things it's going to install. And it's actually going to uninstall that one right there too. So we can go ahead and click Confirm, and click Done. And there we have it guys, Cydia is on the home screen already. We can go ahead and launch it up. And that is pretty much the entire process of how to get Cydia onto your device. Now the really cool thing about having two package installers like I said earlier in this video is you actually have two separate repository lists. So this is mine in Cilio. If I head to Cydia and go to sources, I actually have all my previous sources right here and you guys can apply changes here and things like that. Now, the really cool thing about this is you can apply all of your Cydia tweaks to this jailbreak as well, and they work perfectly fine, although some of them, again, have yet to be updated for A12 support, so their preferences are not going to be able to be adjusted just as of yet, but tweaks like Renovare to kind of redesign Cydia here, that works perfectly fine. Another one like Tweak Count 2 works perfectly fine. Flame to either batch, export, or import sources and tweaks. That works fine. And again, my all-time favorite, Swipe for More. That also works perfectly fine to easily queue up or delete tweaks just like that. As you guys can see, Cydia works perfectly fine to install and uninstall tweaks just like Cilio. But again, this is not going to fix the tweak errors or any of the repo errors that you guys are experiencing. That in itself is more of an A12 support issue rather than a Chimera jailbreak issue. Anyway guys, that's how you guys get Cilio and Cydia on your guys' device on the brand new Chimera jailbreak. Again, this will work for any device out there, but I just wanted to let everyone know that this is how you get Cydia on an A12 device when the Chimera jailbreak only ships with Cilio. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little hack right there. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys liked it, definitely like, comment, and subscribe this video before you head out. Again, definitely check out our Best Tech Info article for all the sources lists, tweak lists, and download links, things like that. And again, if you want a written tutorial too. In the end, thank you so much for watching and thank you guys for the incredible support throughout this jailbreak season. Stay tuned as we have a lot of awesome videos planned for later this week. But until next time, guys, this is Tony signing out.